Okay, so let's solve this problem. So you work for a company that pays time and a half for overtime. That's more than 40 hours because we only have 40 hours in a week. And an hourly rate of 80 pesos. Then make a business function to compute your pay or weekly pay in terms of the number of hours. Then how much will you receive if you work for f uh, 55 hours? Okay, now uh, first we need to create a business function. So this one is your uh, compute your weekly pay in terms, of, in terms of the number of hours. So if you work for uh, less than or equal to 40 hours, so therefore your weekly pay just uh, the number of hours times your hourly rate. So take note that your hourly rate is 80, 80 pesos, so that's 80 times H. H that's for the number of hours. But if you work more than 40 hours, so you have an overtime pay. So to compute your uh, weekly pay, just your regular rate, that's 80 times 40. Uh, 80 times 40 because we have 40 hours in a week. Okay, plus your overtime pay, that's time and a half of your hourly rate. Okay, so 1.5 times 80, then multiply that to the number of hours exist to 40. Okay, so example, you work for uh, 45 hours, so you have four, 5 hours uh, over time, so that's 5 times 1.5 times 80 or this 1.5 times 80 that's 120 so 120 is your overtime rate that's per hour then this uh, 80 times 40 that's 3200 that's your regular uh, pay or regular weekly pay okay so it's the formula to uh, we're going to use to solve for if you work for more than 40 hours but if less than or equal to 40 so we're going to use this formula now for the uh, second problem so how much will you receive if you work for 5 hours I mean 55 hours so your age that's 55 so therefore we're going to use this uh, equation because our number of hours is greater than 40 so age is 55 done then 55 minus 40 that's 15 then you multiply so that's 1,800 then you add so 3,200 plus 1,800 so this one is your salary or uh, weekly pay if you work for 55 hours that's 5,000 pesos okay so let's have this other problem so uh, every month your cell phone plan costs 3,500 and gives only 500 text messages okay then it costs 50 cents per text message sent exists to 500 so make a piecewise function to determine uh, the monthly bill then how much will you will it cost if you use 800 text messages okay so create a piecewise function so you to compute your monthly uh, bill in terms of the number of messages you use so if you send uh, less than or equal to 500 text messages so therefore your monthly bill is only 3,500 that's your regular monthly bill but if you're using more than 500 text messages so your regular uh, monthly bill plus this cost you know, uh, 50 cents per text messages so 0.5 times the number of uh, messages exists to 500 Okay, so it's the formula to compute your monthly bill if your uh, uh, message is greater than uh, 500 but if less than or equal to 500 so this is the formula now to compute for your monthly bill if you're using uh, 800 text messages so your M is 800 so using this formula because your text messages is greater than 500 so we have 800 minus 500 that's 300 then multiply to 0.5 so that's 150 so you have an additional 150 pesos then you add so 3500 plus 150 so therefore your monthly bill is 3650 so if you're using 800 text messages